Cap come in and say, "I've been a nasty girl. I've been, I've been a nasty oh, yeah. girl." Who's trying to match this freak? Who's trying to match my freak? You know who is, right? Michael Cole and Taz. Oh God, we're they live. Were freaky oh, AF God. in Phoenix Dale, Arizona. Oh wait, wait a minute, fuck. Taz, Taz. welcome to Smack Up. Fuck, hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Dun 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 dun. Taz, Taz didn't know where he was half the night. Taz didn't even know who he was talking about half the night. He just was there to have a good time. He was there to have a good time. Dude, we got Butter Chicken beat down. We're low energy tonight. Maybe we'll yell later. Who knows? But We'll ramp up. It's Judgment Day. It's pay-per-view time. And uh, this show was a... It was fun. I'd say it was a pretty fun show. It's fun, but was it fun because we were were goofing? Yeah, well, probably. But, like... That probably helped. That always helps. Thanks. You know? The show was fine. I think it was top like heavy. Three good matches, yeah. Right? Yeah, once you hit the peak at the second match, you go, okay, well, there it goes. So, it, all right. Like, quick overview. Let's the, give us the card real quick. Card? Oh, okay. So, yeah, full card. You know, we got. We got... So, on, on You Don't Have to Do This, it's uh, myself, Joe, and then Pete. Hey, Pete. Hey, I think. Yep, hello. And our host, Ty. Hi, Ty. I don't think that's what he meant, Joe. Who's who's not here? (laughs) Oh, you meant the wrestling part of the show. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dude. The carbohydrates, dude, were setting in from the butter chicken Mm -hmm. meat down. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, dude. We're not on that card, dude. Dude, Onset went straight to Joe's brain. Onset Ah. butter chicken beat down really does hit in certain (laughs) ways we can't can't fathom. Oh, When you top it off with a mango lassi. Oh, dude, a refrigerated mango lassie was crazy. Yeah. Shout out to that restaurant in this city. Yeah. Yeah, it's the... Yeah, yes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I've been well, shown a secret we'll dossier that, that is not related to the show. <laughs> uh, so, you All know, right. match of the night, Jillian Hall versus Molina. We got that on the show. We got, we got uh-huh. Cruiserweight Championship with Gregory mm-hmm. Schmelms against Super Crazy. You got Mark Henry versus Kurt. You got the King of Ring Finals. You got World Heavyweight title with Rey Mysterio and JBL. Taker Kali, you know, tag team title match, and Benoit Finley. Wow, so, I mean, what a stacked card. Yeah, wow. You think it would be a stacked card. <laughs> there's definitely some stinkers. Yeah, you, you know. That that's what you mean by stack. But let's just let's unpack, like let's a... unwrap it. You know, we got Mark Summers in the building today. Say hi, Mark. Hello, Mark. Wait, hold oh, on, I think hold we on, lost him. Yep, I think. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Oh, hey, thank, thank hey, Mark. How would you feel about the match, the opening title match? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so okay. you know, Eminem's out. They're dressed to the nines, and you know, they're fucking. They got the fur. Apple bottom jeans. They got the fur. The with the fur. Yeah. They're um, they're coming down. They're kissing on Molina. Molina's kissing them back. Taz doesn't know what to do with himself. He keeps uh, just exploding. And yeah, Taz... when when Molina when Molina goes through her iconic entrance, Michael Cole. Oh, what does like, she do? All right, she's got the leg up, and then Taz asks, "What is she going to do next?" Oh, you know, sweating and and just. But then what, what every... does she do? And then she... Michael Cole goes, she gets the other leg up. And Taz goes, ah! And, and she does the split. And she do the split. She, she, she do, do the split. Taz with two Zs go crazy. <laughs> Taz with two Zs go crazy. Yeah, and then and then out comes uh, comedy and uh, tragedy. Paul London and Brian Kendrick are storming down the ring. For whatever reason, their noses on their masks are ex- abnormally long. They're also wearing red, those traitors. They're diversified. I couldn't believe well, it. Eminem kind of had a little bit of red badge on the on the fur coats. How could he do that? I think it was supposed to say something, but I couldn't really make it out. Know. Uh, this match was pretty dang good. Finally. Oh, yeah, they got right into it. Yeah, Eminem having a good pay per view match is pretty much guaranteed at this point. Well, we kind of went into it, kind of thinking, eh, whatever, because for the past six weeks, they've just been getting bullied. By Paul London and uh, Brian Kendrick, you know they like did the one on ones against each other, mm. and then lost both of those for two weeks. Yep. They had a six man tag uh, where Super Crazy joined uh, London and Kendrick, and then somebody 
I don't even remember, joined Eminem. Eminem was, lost. I think it was Gregory Helms. Was it Gregory Helms? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, and then uh, and then they were going to have a match for the tag team championships. Um, but then before the match started, uh, Eminem jumped London and Kendrick. So that was nothing. And then they were going to do it again or something. And then they all got pantsed. Eminem got pantsed in the ring, which yeah, set up yeah. Jillian Hall and Molina. Uh, and then I think another six-man tag, and they got bodied again. So it's been a tough showing for uh, the WWE Tag Team Champions, uh, even though they've been champions for like half a year up to this point. Yeah. They just uh, they've consistently looked like the underdogs, just even getting bodied by, by Brian Kendrick. So like mentally, there's truly only one way this match can go. Yeah, you know, Brian called up his Lizard King and said, hey, mm-hmm. I'm going to need some help. And so the lizard guy allegedly Great backstage person. gave him some some goop. Yep. And he was he, he was on with some they were powers. yeah yeah. They were they were going hard. They were hitting clean stuff, drop kicks, elbow drops. Yeah. The drop kick into the um, Oh, the drop the salt? salt. Yeah, oh, drop yeah. Salt. Yeah, we'll get into that though, dude, cuz you know, you know they're going crazy on each other. Like they're hitting them with these like nasty hip tosses. Like they were on it at uh, one a point. Lot of tag team cohesion. Yeah, they, uh, in this match. Mercury and Nitro, dude, they were off their game. They didn't know what to do. These two, these two young strapping lads were too quick, and Molina couldn't do much to help. Like during that drop salt spot, you know, they throw Paul Lennon out, but they can't keep him out because then he comes back in. Nitro tries to grab him, and then he gets drop kicked, and then he backflips onto Mercury. And Molina goes, oh, crap. And as uh, Paul London's trying to get a pinch, he just gets up in the ref's face and goes, ah! And screams at him. And I was like, holy what shit. Did, what did the, hold on. What did the scream sound like? I tried to scream. It didn't come through Discord, but everyone heard it. <laughs> everyone heard it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's what she did. <laughs> she, she got in the ref's face and hit him with the... Yeah, Jimmy Corderas had no chance. He was scared. It was a wrap for him. No, there was a lot of fun tag team stuff. Like, early on in the match, uh, Joey Mercury just, like, gets into the ring, like, without being tagged, and the ref's like, hey, whoa, hold up a minute. Hey, and Paul guy. London does that in response as well. It was like, ah, no, no, nothing's mm-hmm. happening. Mercury Not- gets down and starts doing the camera. Like, they start emoting on him. Duh. How could they do that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, fine because then it comes back. London and Kendrick give uh, Nitro like a double like suplex off the ropes. Pretty sick. Lots of stuff like that. Lots of flying double axe handles. Uh, they, uh, drop they kicks. At one point do a, a tag spot where somebody from Eminem booted the the other guy from Eminem in the face on accident. Yeah. They so they tag Mercury got tagged in, uh, and. Mercury try like was like holding back one of them, and he goes to get a like a kick on him in the corner, and I uh, think it was London that moved, and so he kicks him, and then he throws him into it, into Mercury. So they both just collide oh, again, yeah, yeah. and then he tags in London, and London kicks him <laughs> into each other. So they just keep hitting each other, they can't stop beating each other up, and then uh, yeah, that was a fun little spot because they had success. Eminem had successfully done that move two times prior while sort of separating Kendrick from London and that side of the ring. Yeah, and then so. Nitro's dazed on the ropes, and uh, London knocks Mercury into him, and Nitro flies on the Molina and kills Molina, and then London rolls him up and gets the dub, and everyone went fucking nuts. Yeah, and, dude, Joey Mercury looked so fucking devastated. Yeah, it was, it was a wrap. Split, but we go crazy. We got new tag champs. We got Brian Kendrick and Paul London. Finally. We did it. We did it. Seen a, title seen a title change. Finally, a title change. And uh, um, how long have they been champs? Since the beginning of the show, since oh, wow. December twenty seventh, two thousand five. Wow! Even before rain. the inception of the you don't have to do this podcast network. Yep, that's crazy. Uh, Mercury and Nitro just start getting in the ring. They get up in their grills. They hate each other now. And Melina's like, "What the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Mercury." And Mercury's like, me? Come on, what about your guy? And Melina smacks the shit out of Mercury, and he's like, okay. You know what? Fuck it. And then they just start beating the shit out of each other. And then uh, 
Mercury gets a one up on Nitro and leaves, and Nitro's pissed. And uh, yeah, fighting. it was. Um, I, I would say like Nitro at first tried to be sort of a mediator between Molina, who was blaming Joey Mercury for losing because he's the one who got pinned, and sort of trying to also be on Joey Mercury's side. With like, well, you know, like you know, kind of happens, you know, stuff like that. I got knocked in you, this and that. You can kind of see them, like, mouthing, you know, the words and stuff, cause not being it's that a, loud. It's a tag team match. And then Molina, all. like, smacks the piss out of Joey Mercury. Yeah. Joey Mercury's like, this... all right. And Nitro's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Says... And the Mercury gets up in her face. I think the ref got hit, like, too. damn, I wish it was me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the ref really? got hit clean. Uh, I don't, was Teddy out there? Yeah, Teddy, Teddy gets, Teddy gets there out there point. after the brawl between Nitro yeah. and Molina. But then he, like, falls over like a fucking Family Guy character. Got He's knocked like, out. on the ground looking <laughs> devastated. It's crazy. Yeah. What a yeah, what a no. hot opener. I will say, earlier uh, in the match, Michael Cole, you know, was trying to degrade Molina. She said, oh, she's like a snake out there. And then Taz was like, yeah, but like a sexy snake. So no. Taz is a confirmed scaly. Well, <laughs> what does that night. mean? He's a big <laughs> fan. He loves he loves Metal the Gear reptile Solid women. No. And Metal Gear Solid. Uh, yep. Next up, we Do got... Do not ask Tez about his opinion on thermonuclear war. Yeah, don't ask him about that. He'll kill you. For real, for real. Well, don't tell me I didn't tell, warn you on that one. Uh, Tez mission. Benoit against Finley. And I don't know. I didn't really care for this match. I know uh, Big David gave it a four-star match. No oh dear. It was not my thing. The pacing Sport, was four still so feels slow. like a little high. If this was like five or even six minutes shorter, sure. It was so fucking long. It was what twenty one minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it was a little bit indulgent. They just, yeah, they had a little. They had a little bit of fun out there. Yeah. Just not fun, man. They they, they had a little bit of rest holds out there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really what it is is they're both trying to, like, brute strength, like, take each other over with uh, submission techniques and uh, just, like, arm drags and uh, wrist locks, head locks. Finley, at one point, applies a rear naked choke, and Benoit, I think, tries to reverse that into a crucifix pin, which was pretty neat. But Finley does, like, a weird-ass, like, stretch and, like, somehow gets his, like, stubby feet and toes onto the rope to rope break it. Yeah. I thought was pretty fun. I didn't know the guy could move like that. He's like 45 at the time. Yeah, they were really trying to match each other's freak. They couldn't. <laughs> no shot. No fucking shot. And Finley just... eventually gets so pissed. He's like, all right, fuck this. Goes and gets, uh, throws Tony Chimmel off his chair again for the umpteenth time in the in a row uh, and, and tries to bring the chair up into the uh, ring. But Benoit hits him with a baseball slide, chair to the chest. And Charles Robinson, the referee, saw the whole thing. So uh, I know the last raw down I was on, Rob Van Dam did that to Shelton, and he got disqualified. Yeah, yeah. So you know, well, you know what that says is that just on SmackDown, we let them roll, dude. We let the wrestlers wrestle, dude. This yeah. is where the best fucking wrestle, dude. I just don't I think don't they want to get Rob getting extreme because they they know it's going to happen. Ooh. Oh yeah, true. You know, because that's not his home curve. Yeah, you'll start the red getting brand down. Is not his home. Yeah, you know, John Cena catches Rob Van Dam backstage, and he's doing the I've been a nasty girl dance. And you're like, oh, no. How did he get this in 2006? I don't think anybody can match Rob Van Dam's freak. No. No, that's why they had to make a new uh, division for him and send him off. So, feel that big time. Oh, this match. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, like, how many fucking German suplexes were there? Because there was, like, 30. Um, There were at least seven. I counted at least seven. The German suplex is definitely Chris Benoit's bag because early in earlier, yeah, early, everything that important that happens in this match is after the like ten minute mark. Yep. Chris Benoit hits a, a pretty good uh, triple German sequence with the last one being a release release German, and Finley just goes flying to the other side of the ring, uh, and he does the same thing on the outside as well. Um, again, Chris Benoit, he's got incredible hip strength because of the way his body is built. Like a like he's a, all natty, like a Wolverine. Yeah, yeah he's all natty though. Like, he, but he, he cannot do the three, the three amigos to save his life, dude. The guy has all hip strength maxed out, zero hip dexterity. Because no. I think he even like because how Eddie would like flip up the like the legs to to get back up on his feet for the suplex. 
Chris like tries to go one way and then like his hips can't go that way, so he just gets up the way he was reeling from. It's just like so embarrassing. It's like a it's like a little baby trying to get up off its back. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a I don't know. Like the, I, I think what you could really say here is this match could be distilled into like a five minute highlight reel. You wouldn't miss anything. Yeah, we really had to rewatch it. Because we, we, we were forgetting. I was like, hey, do we have anything about this match? And I was like, ah. I mean, he, like, look, Chris Benoit, he hits the flying headbutt. Was yeah. it the one? I'm just not impressed by Finley. <laughs> well, he tried, hit a, he, hit, tried a, uh, he tried to hit a, he tried to hit a, he tried calling for it earlier. You know, he did the, thr- the, the thumb to the throat. It's yeah. over. Goes for it. Finley looks like he's going to try and counter with an RKO, but really he's just jumping to get out of the way. So he misses one. Benoit eventually connects with one later in the match, uh, which eventually he gets, um, you know, Finley into the cross face after a lot of work on the on the arm and shoulder. Oh, but, but before guys, that, like dude. we we saw the one. I think this match oh, had yep. the one. Oh, yeah, that's what that I was about to it. say. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that no, might have been the one the that one. did it. Yeah. So Benoit was on the apron again. A lot of apron spots in this uh, on this show, but uh, Finley hit him with some extra stank on that, and Chris Benoit goes flying. Like, I'm not even going to mince my words. He went flying into the, like, head first into the ape, like the, the barricade, and he just took that full on. That was oh, the man. one that did it. It's got to be. There's no way. Yeah, no, sh- no shot it was anything else. And yeah. they played the replay. It was so, it was literally like, like, Dude, it sounded like a fucking kickball getting kicked. Yeah. <laughs> it was insane. It literally flat the flat of his like the back of his neck. head and yeah. neck like at a 90 degree angle hitting the barrier off the apron. Benoit, what a real worker. It is a real miracle he didn't like get paralyzed by that. Actually, yeah. no it wasn't. It, it, <laughs> maybe honestly, he should have been, paralyzed, been paralyzed. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe perhaps things would be better. <laughs> it was a fun a fun little like thing like because all of this was like rest holes the whole match but uh one of the odd ones i thought was finley like gripping up benoit's like trap muscles behind his neck finley's just like Ugh, uh. it's just like that's not doing anything to him that's all calloused and scarred up can't yeah. feel that <laughs> come on now finley so you know what yeah I forgot to mention the opening match also got a, a Dave present by giving oh. it a three and a three quarters. Oh, my. So that's the only higher rated matches of the show. Everything else is downfall from here if you're a Dave head and, like, love his ratings, which, I mean, come on. We yeah, all we all care even though everyone says they don't. Everyone's, no, I don't care. And then they're like, oh, my. But he should have got a five star, though. I will say yeah, I on care, cage match. I care like I used to care reading IGN reviews when I was ten years old. Yeah, you're like, dude. I really hope Prince of Persia gets a wow, ten out of ten. Prototype two. Prototype two should definitely be a ten out of ten. <laughs> a six. Oh my god. And then you go fuck this guy. He knows nothing. And then you keep reading. I can't believe you the liberals know. did this. <laughs> yeah, how about the guy that gave God Hand like a one, and then that gave that baby that's thing crazy. connect. The baby Wii game a ten. Hold on, wait yeah. a minute. Hold What's on, wait a minute. Uh, same guy. guy. Same guy did that. Did God Hand come out at? this year? No. It, did it not? No, I'm talking about. Did it come out in 06? In it 06? did. Oh, it did come out in 06. Maybe we'll play that. Yeah. Maybe we'll play that for the channel. That'd be fun. Ooh, better be sponsored. Taz, you know what to Taz, do. Taz, come free. on, dude. I know Taz plays. Oh wait, no, is he still with the company by the end of 06? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Who Life knows? finds a way, huh? He says, "Fuck the Fed. No, I'm gonna go play God Hand. I'm done with this shit." Uh, <laughs> all right, end this match, dude. I'm gonna fucking go through the quick finish. You know, Benoit gets uh, thrown into the post, and then Finley's like, "He he he, I'm gonna get him," and then just gets fucking cross faced out of nowhere. It was a sick finish to a very long, drawn out match. If this was seven minutes shorter. It would be like one of my best matches of the year, but at as it is, nah, not for me, man. I don't know if anyone else felt the same way. Which match? My bad. Finley I Benoit. Lost. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, can't do it. Can't, can't put him. Can't put him at the top. 
No, this isn't a this is a fine match. It just like it ended cleanly at least, which is more than you can say for most SmackDown matches. Yeah, and then you go <laughs> from go from that to uh, Jillian Hall versus Molina. So oh, the, yeah. man. the crowd uh, getting excited about these hot matches with like, you know the Nico last name match of the night. Yeah, if only we had him on the show today, but he was uh, caught doing uh doing business down in uh Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, so no we, way. Yeah, we we had uh we had to postpone him on maybe he'll product. No, he'll probably be on next episode. That's fine. Superstar Billy Graham is here to watch this match specifically. <laughs> why did he see why is he a huge fan wow. of Molina? What did he have to say about it? <laughs> oh brother. You don't even well, you know what's know. the worst part? What? You know what the worst part is is Melina came out. She don't do the split. She don't do the split. Nitro should no have done the split. No red carpet. No red Nitro carpet. No the cameras. They were not having it. Yeah, they were. They had. They had no freak to match. Yeah, there was the, the vibes were fucked. Like you're already, like Jillian's already had a massive advantage coming into this. Yeah, I mean, what Melina lost like every fucking thing ever. Like her boys lost. She's devastated. You know, she killed one of them. You know, Jillian Hall like hates they JBL. Put, put so. Joey Mercury down. <laughs> Joey Mercury's dead, dude. Yeah, they had to kill him, dude. I don't think he After ever has a match. singles run, so I yeah. don't think he comes back, dude. I think you might be right. I think After he's dead. Match. After the match, she pulled out the the gun and took Joey, Joey Mercury out back. Yeah, we didn't get that to see that though. Of, that was yeah. uh, that was a WWE Unlimited exclusive. We can't. Oh yeah, dude. We can't yeah, find that. that I don't want there. you to know that Joey Mercury had rabies and killed at least three people before the match started. <laughs> no. <laughs> to all the, to all our fans out there, if you have the video of Joey Mercury <laughs> getting put down like a dog behind the shed, and also the video of Carlito getting assaulted by Shaquille O'Neal at yeah, a 2006 us Miami Heat game, please send it to yeah. us. <laughs> We're begging you. We we want it so bad. We need it so bad. Yeah. What's the email? Hi. What's, what's oh, what's email? the email? It's yeah. oh, it's uh, this email. Yeah, dude. Yeah, send us uh, oh, yep. send us your fan mail at our PO box. We just got it. Yep. And here here Red it is. Bubble, in the like, link. subscribe. For, for Look, evidence. if you're in the comments, YouTube, like, subscribe, comment. Yep. Shaquille O'Neal. If you got this far, type Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Where's Shaquille? We love that guy. We'll send you uh, the the Yas Fighter Mysterio shirt. You, oh, you email us with a picture of yourself. Yeah, very true. Yeah, you know Redbubble. Maybe by this point, maybe we'll get rid of Yasified. I think we get will in contact. have Yasified Ray Mysterio Look, in I'll the Redbubble right shop. Now. Go check right now. We have Yasified make... Ray. <laughs> we have. You don't have to do this merch. Yeah. It's R A Y question mark legally distinct. Vince McMahon, come and take it. No, it's yeah, it's Raymond mystery yeah <laughs> yes, sir. What, where were we what were, we're, talking, we're talking about, about jillian dude this match oh, is jillian, so okay. jillian yeah. hall is a, is a hashtag real worker yeah this she was her one raps. this was her one chance to finally get to utilize her skill in the ring and by that i mean her and melina get dragged out drag each other outside to the ring she hits Melina with a stiff boot, and then Melina responds by pushing her off of her, and then Jillian runs, like, stumbles back 10 feet into the steps. She wanted to do that spot so fucking bad, and I respect her for it. It was nasty, dude. It was really nasty. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I thought they got died at that point. Yeah, dude, it got tough. Melina dragged uh, Jillian back to the corner, and then uh, does that like bit where like she sets her up on like the middle rope, then gives her a stomp to the midsection. Nasty work. Dragging her all around, really just they're dragging each other around. Melina ends up uh, getting her in a rear naked choke, but Jillian uh, tries to counter that into a pin, which breaks it up. They work themselves back to the corner, uh, where Melina's trying to like suplex her off the second rope, but Jillian gets her turned around and counters it into like a sunset flip pin and one two three jillian wins yeah but wait a minute what happened there what's that what that camera angle melina's got her hands on the ropes ref didn't see oh it though God. that was that was kind of silly like 
Come on. I don't know. Like, I don't think they're going to push Jillian. And I guess, yeah. screwed Molina out of it. I love no, that. I just need Molina. Molina, Molina look. She's politic back there. Listen, she's, as much as. She's not. Hold on. Oh, hold sorry. Let me cook. Let me I'm cook. sorry. Let Let me cook here. Cook here. I apologize. Okay. Cook. She's, she's like, look, she knows the deal. She's been smooching up with Dave Batista, you know? She's Whoa. been she's been politic and hard backstage. She knows her merch sales are gonna go down if she loses. <laughs> she's she's fighting. Are they for that selling Molina right shirts? There. No, they're not. That's the whole bit. Oh no. But we could be. She oh. could just split everyone go crazy. Redbubble.com, come get her Molina merch right now. <laughs> It's a, if, it's you're a, a, if you're a scaly like Taz with two Z's, <laughs> go to redbubble.com slash you don't have to do this. Get our official she do the split we go crazy shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, official. But she's she's fucking she's politicking back there. She's saying, I'm not losing clean because she knows the bag here. Batista's been in her ear telling her all all the tips and tricks of the trade that he learned from Papa H, you know? Yeah. She knows. How did the, how, the work rate, brother? Yep. I can't Jeez, believe we got out here. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I mean, listen, this match wasn't as bad as we're like making it out to be. They they did fine. Jillian is very uh green, but it was serviceable. Molina looks very good at this moment because compared to the shit on Raw, like no Jillian drop actually, her on Raw. like. Can't, like ha- maybe has potential here to work. You know, if she's, they she's cared doing about her best women to do all these spots, you know, she's way better than Candice Michelle. Yeah, if they cared about women a little bit, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe she would have been a bigger star. But you know, they didn't really care about her. They had her do a singing gimmick in like two years or so. So they kill her so hard. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's only two months removed from having to wear a prosthetic mole on her face. Oh so. fucking hell. It, it was it was a tough time. Again, you don't have to do this podcast network. Smack up and also raw down. Do not condone uh, any of this. We are merely here to comment on it. Yeah. Wait, what? what are we not condoning? Eating bulls. Just just the treatment of women oh, in general. Of women. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad, man. Speaking of the treatment of women, your local woman. Crystal bull. Marshall comes down and she's like, "Melina," and then just Melina just fucking kills her. And Crystal just gets her ass fucking beat. <laughs> well, Crystal comes down laughing at Melina the whole time, pretty much. Yeah. She's like, everybody has this question, and then stands there and laughs at her. Yeah, and yeah. And then after a minute, she's like, how do you feel after such a tough night? And then and... Melina's like, you know what, Crystal? I think I feel, uh, fuck you, bitch, and then smacks her in the face. Michael and Cole got so it. upset. He was like, she was, just, she was just trying to ask a question. No, Melina tries kicking Crystal in the face, uh, which happens, and then Crystal breaks through like the pull apart brawl. She breaks through the refs in high heels, starts giving Melina some stiff ass elbows, and knocks her back up to the ramp. And Melina, where Melina uh, retreats, it was crazy. And uh, if if that thing any better, we cut backstage, and JBL is again on a hot one, as if he hasn't been doing the same promo for the past. Uh, month and a half uh cheese mode. and he just starts being racist again and you know what you know i'm gonna break kayfabe for a moment i like we just found out maybe 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 he is we don't know but allegedly jbl's not that hater. racist jbl might be a little woke he might he be, a, be a little woke. i think <laughs> i think he's like a libertarian but he's not woke but he's not he's not the character that he is on tv which is it's just like whoa are you kidding me he doesn't play his part come on wow dude. but that that was a that was a real shock to the system talking about the the recognizing of uh of the the black league baseball like their records right so like look yeah yeah he said he said they should be officially like mlb recognized yeah because like they're just as valid it's very true i don't know if we should go into this because i could this is not a baseball podcast. This is a baseball podcast. You don't have to pitch this. Oh God! Um, pause. Pause. What is this podcast? Answer that question for me. What is this podcast? Smack up, dude. No, but what is it? I don't know. We just talk about wrestling sometimes. All right, now go ahead. Oh, okay, fair enough. 
Yeah, so uh, JBL cuts that nasty promo, and J or er, and then fucking Chavo shows up, guys. Yeah, Chavo's JBL's backstage. Stunned. He got stun locked out of his uh, promo about how he hates Mexicans. He's like, "What are you doing here?" And then the camera 180s to Chavo. He's like, "Oh, hey, what's up, dude?" Yeah, I. And then JBL's bro. like, "I beat up your uncle, Eddie Guerrero." He's dead. And I beat him up. And I'm as, gonna beat up your little friend Ray. And Chavo as, says, "Viva la raza, you nasty American." Dude, he, he legit was shit. just like been gone on Raw because he got really sad and said, "I can't do it anymore. I just can't. I just can't do it." And he he quit. So he's been gone, man. He just has not been on TV since. So it's very funny to see just him just show going, "Hey, what's up?" It's like, <laughs> "Where have you been, dude?" You quit. You had this whole like sad promo with uh, Jr. about how you can't do it anymore because you lost the Sheldon Benjamin once, even though you're like undefeated on Heat, which is not a you know not not something to be like scoffing at. Like he's undefeated. Like you can't beat him. <laughs> he wins a lot. <laughs> so I don't know why he got so mad, but here he is. He's on SmackDown. He's here to cheer on his guy Ray because. Um, why, why is he here again? Why is he cheering on Ray? Ray Mysterio's his friend. Is they, he? Are, they are blood brothers. So. He looked very devastated after losing uh, the Rumble. Well. Yeah, so, all right. Fair enough. Chavo, Chavo on Smacky Chavo. Down. Yeah. He's here. Uh, We've been getting little, like, little promos. Like, earlier we got a little clip of the 1993 King of the Ring Finals. Oh yeah, they've been Bret Hart versus Bam Bam Bigelow, yeah. where Bret Hart rolled him up out of a uh, electric chair, to become the king of the ring of that year, and then this one right after Chavo apparates out of existence, uh, we get the iconic Austin 316 from 1996, where he beat Jake the Snake Roberts. Talks about thumping bibbles, and 316 says, "I just, I just creamed your booty." Oh yeah. no. Yeah, I just creamed your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy yep. promo. How could they do that? Yep. Yeah. And then right out of that, that we TV. get metrosexual Undertaker, cruiserweight mm-hmm. champion Gregory Helms. <laughs> I was trying to think who that was. I'm like, who's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's here, and he puts on like, look. I know, I know, you guys are we're, we're hating. This match was good. Oh my god, Pete, do you want to talk about it? Because if I do, I'm going to start hating. I hate Sugar Shane for some reason. Uh, like, uh, we don't have to like Sugar Shane, but like, it's the super crazy of this match that really brings it together. I think, right? So we got we got Shane Helms versus Super Crazy, and it really is like Super Crazy carrying the match with all the crazy shit he's doing. Like he does the fucking moon salt to the outside of the ring off the referee's back. Like what the fuck's going on? You know, there's just a lot of shit that's happening. And it's got a good pace to it. It's one the one probably the most watchable match of the show, in my opinion. It's definitely the most digestible, right? Because we yeah. have very clearly defined roles here of mean guy who wants to slow it down to his pace. And we got the exciting high flyer who's got the Juan Deer, by the way. Oh he busted my. It out just for tonight. He rolled out right on it. You know? And we got kind of like the, the, the clashing of techniques here sort of sort of works, you know? Yeah, I'm with it, it. I fuck with it. It's like, look, no matter what, better than uh, better than Finley and Benoit. <laughs> you, yeah, you know what? I can agree with that. I can this agree with a, that. This is at least one A and one B. It just makes me sad to see Gregory Helms in this state because he is definitely hurting. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe Gregory Helms will watch this one day. God forbid him watch this. Poor guy. Watch our He'd be bored as hell. But if he just if he decides one day I'm gonna watch this oh, clip, hey, these guys are talking about. And in I was never injured, and like no, like he had a lot of injuries throughout his career, and he just looks like he cannot move the way he used to. So it's just kind of sad to see. So like he had to be a technical wrestler, but he's not a good one. He was more of like a high flyer that could do that stuff. So it was more impressive when you know like he could do a mixture of both. So when he's doing this bit. And the way they've been using him with gimmick matches throughout the year, it just makes me not believe it. And I'm like, why the hell is Super Crazy not the champ? 
Super Dude, crazy should just a problem be the champ. With the, with the cruiserweight division too. They don't care. Like, it's it's obviously like an afterthought. Yeah. You know, it... and like although Shane like can't Gregory can't move, you know, like like the Hurricane or like Sugar Shane in his time, you know, we st- he still he, we get we got little moments of it of some good character work because it's a, a nasty running cutter. Pretty sick, and Super Crazy's obviously helping out here because he could jump around. Yeah. Uh, later in the match, Gregory Helms goes up for a devious second rope elbow. Super Crazy rolls to the side out of that. Gregory Helms doesn't fall for the counter, lands on his feet, and goes for a planted elbow. Psych. Super Crazy gets out of that and tries to roll him up. But, you know, like little, little fun stuff like that, you know? Like, I'm cool with Gregory Helms in spots like this. Yeah. You know, it was fine for what it was. It's not match of the night, but serviceable. As with all cruiserweight shit, ends up being. Yeah. And uh, I, I guess I can run through the finish real quick. Uh, you guess? Well, you you I gosh guess. darn better. I guess. It's Judgment dude. Day 2006, buddy. Crazy, crazy uh, hits a standing moonsault, gets two, and uh, it goes up, hits a missile drop kick. That doesn't do anything. Super crazy, like hey. And he starts yelling at the crowd. He wants to go up again. The crowd's, uh, you know, a little into it. They're not too crazy. They got exhausted by the the work rate by the divas. Ah, yeah. And um, again, I'm not shitting on the match. It was, it was fine. Uh, <laughs> but he misses a moonsault. Helms avoids it. And then uh, tries for the Shining Wizard. Mits that. And Helms gets a flipping neck breaker. And then... Uh, was it uh, super crazy? Tries to hit a hurricane Rana, but just gets power bombed out of his misery. And uh, you're like, "Damn, okay, what's he about to do?" And he puts his feet on the rope. Ah. Uh, and uh, gets the dub at the end, man. What a freaking cheater, dude! It's Gregory just, Holmes is cheating, dude. I get, I get. That's the bit. He's the heel worker, but man, come on. <laughs> that's that's you're like getting worked by Gregory Holmes, right? That's the second match in a row where, like, it was a shit finish because, like, someone's hand was on the ropes. Yeah, but it's the other way It around. was the other way around this time, yeah. yeah. It didn't work. We will not go into the psychology of doing two uh, body-on-the-rope spots. Don't worry. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but mine's be better. One later. Yeah, but my point's better. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. you Fuck you. Fuck and you. with that, the conclusion of the cruiserweights for the night. That's incredible. Uh, Gregory Helms, you got to be a real freak, like Pete said during our butter chicken meltdown. You got to be a real freak to have a, a Green Lantern tattoo in '06. <laughs> you got you got to be deep in the cut. You were on one at the free Ryan Reynolds and... movie. Yeah. Who who do you think free... was his favorite Green Lantern, Pete? Guy Gardner. I think he was a guy guy. Yeah, one hundred percent. We need to ask that. him on Twitter. Look, if any of you are listening, ask him on Twitter too. Please. We need it. We need to know who his favorite lantern was. We cannot have him looking at this pod. Don't don't send him the link, please. <laughs> but if you do, ask him to like and subscribe. Just like you should down below. Yeah. Comment. Hey, your favorite Green Lantern. He could get the Yas Fighter and Mysterio shirt. That would be cool. I'm gonna stop That's the podcast saying. to tell you to like, comment, subscribe. That might do good, right? Maybe I, I don't drop know. your ass on the keyboard as hard as you can and see what happens. Yeah, hit a hip drop. Might right buy now. something. Hit a hip drop. Oh, nice dude! Wow. Wow. Oh, wow! They hit it! Wow! Damn that thing! That thing's stanking. That what good. do you mean by that? No! <laughs> Ooh! Whoa! Come on, like dude! Oh yeah, more of that! Yeah! Golly, yeah. we're gonna get killed for that! She wee wee! Uh! Wait. Oh! Wait a baby. minute! Oh! Hey, wait! We're backstage. Oh, Hold no. on! Oh, wait! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Mike! Uh! Why is why is Melina in Nitro backstage, dude? They bust up in the Teddy Long's office. Teddy's like, "Whoa, whoa hey, hey, come on, Playa, what are you doing?" And Nitro's like, "This is bullshit, dude. You see this? You get in my way, dude. I'm fucking sick of the disrespect here." And Melina's like, "Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Teddy. This is bullshit." And he goes, "You know what? You know what, Melina? Guess what?" And Melina's like, "Yeah, what? Fuck you." And then she slaps, she slaps the shit out of him. He goes, "You know what? Okay, you know what? I was gonna let you guys go, but I, I you're fired." That. He says, "I needed, that. I needed that. I need to be a fire All in right. me. This fire burns." And you know what? Has might have needed that too. Yeah, he. It's gone, dude. Melina and Nitro got fired, one by one. So, so Mercury's so just by himself on SmackDown. I don't. Is he ever gonna show up again? Maybe he'll be a cruiserweight. He kind of looks like Gregory Helms. 
<sighs> it could just make him Gregory Holmes. He's just Gregory Holmes, dude. <laughs> he just Gregory Holmes. Cloned himself, dude. Wow. That's crazy. That's what they Taz were cooking. Is, and then we get a shot back to the announce table, and Taz the is backshot? visibly distraught by the back shots we saw backstage. Yeah. <laughs> Insanity. And then, we get another uh, promo video of uh, the 2000 King of the Ring finals. Oh, Kurt yeah. Angle versus Rock, as JBL calls him, Rockishi. Rockishi. He was throwing him around, too. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Devious angle slams and Samoan drops. This must have been one for the sickos, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe Top one day we'll Rakishi. go back. Maybe one day we'll go back. Who knows? Probably not. You know. Hey, like, like and comment Top Rope Quiche if you got this far. Top Rope Quiche. Oh, my. Yeah, comment that. <laughs> Top Rope Quiche. I'm going to see the one comment by Joe saying Top Rope Quiche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do them all, baby. Um, so... You think you know him. You don't. It's someone's time to get his ass kicked. Someone's time to get his wig split. And then you go, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to see Mark Henry. And it's the wettest dude you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, he steps out, fucking water. Somehow, his beard. Somehow has all of his hair dry and on point. He's looking stylish. It looks great. And then everything else, all the moisture is everywhere he's so wet though you could see like the his like beard dripping but it's still it's still dry it's still good still still looking it's, fantastic it's, it's in yeah, shape he's got, he's he's got like crazy. a running faucet behind his beard it's yeah crazy. Yep. no he's looking good he's, he's he's uh he's beefed out he's ready to kill kurt angle and kurt angle comes out and he is pissed he is unbelievably angry and you're like why are you so angry kurt and he's he's ready to fuck him up. They hate each other, dude. It was good. Yeah, well, Kurt Angle brought out the the mouth guard that says "Revenge" across. Yeah, it. <laughs> that yeah. was nuts. Just insane. The world the world's sweatiest man versus the guy who got revenge carved into his teeth. Yeah, what were you gonna wins. do at that point? Yeah, it's over. What did I say? Like, imagine what? sending Kurt Angle with the mouth guard back to like the 1300s, and they just think he just carved, ground, and carved his teeth to spell out the word revenge. Yeah, dude, he's he'd be like he'd be like Ivan the Terrible if he got sent yep. back sometime in the past. <sighs> he'd be like, Bro, oh, that guy, do not mess with that guy. He's like five five. They he wears think... a gold medallion to the sun god, and he has <laughs> he has an alien language carved into his teeth. Do not they, mess with that. They don't guy. know how to read, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like three people that know how to read. They, yeah. They say you having a laugh, bruv, and he goes, "Yeah." I'm taking the piss, Kurt. Yeah. Yeah. We get a little <laughs> montage of how much Mark Henry loves jumping through tables. <laughs> oh yeah, Mark Henry killed Angle. Like I didn't even realize how many times he killed him through a table, and they just kept showing him. It's like, oh wow. He's That's done the it bit. Three times, and we get like seventy replays of it again. Mark Henry really had to be like back there, you know, like Vince. The one time he went to like a SmackDown show, you know, on on Tuesdays, I mean Fridays, and and Vince maybe would sit there and be like, all right, Mark, I have this idea. All right, you're gonna do a headlock, and 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 Mark just steps up and be like, I'm gonna put somebody through a table tonight. And it's, it's like Vince is like, okay, all right, you got it. <laughs> the highlight reel. Um, yeah, they... so like, there's two things that absolutely murdered me this match, which was how wet Mark Henry was. Obviously, the man was just dripping everywhere. It's insane. And then the highlight reel of uh, of them being like, Mark Henry just loves putting Kurt Angle through tables. <laughs> and it's just like the four times that he's dove through a table with Kurt Angle on it. And it's, it's fucking hilarious. And every time Kurt just yells, ah, ah, yeah, my ribs, ah. Thinking, which is why he's coming out with the raft ribs and shit, too. Sometimes at the club, you know, like you got like your one yeah. dance move for your one song. <laughs> This is this is this is Mark's move, dude. He might he might have this one move in the bag, one hundred percent. You make eye contact with Mark Henry across the room at the wrong time, and you might go through a table. You're going through a fucking table, dude. And and just to accentuate it, he as wet Mark is coming out, he just goes to the back uh, of of the of the arena and just starts disassembling the the top accoutrement 
of the of the American announce table. Oh, yeah, he takes off all the pieces of it already. Right? Yeah, like he's like, yeah. he's like, I'm he's gonna saying, do. That. I'm gonna. Somebody's going through this one tonight. He's calling his shot at. The moment, <laughs> yeah, man. he's like, I want this one. You know, gets into yeah. the ring, dude. Kurt gets Angle up on the mic. Did who who got on the mic? Mark. Mark did. He's like Kurt. Shouldn't have come back. Oh, I'm gonna crush you, Batista. I'm gonna crush Look what you. I did to him. He's out. He's gone. I you don't... you were gone. You should have stayed gone. I don't you know. Remember. And then Kurt comes out. Oh yeah yeah, it's true. He says, Kurt, when are you gonna realize? You can't do nothing to me. I hurt people. I mean it. I'll put you through a table again. I'm sweaty. Kurt, you don't get it. You don't understand. There's something you need to understand about me. I'm wet. And then Kurt, Kurt hears him say, he's wet? Oh, okay. I'm wet. And then yep. Kurt comes out a little sweaty, I'd say. But I think well, you have to thing, stay dry for the, the rib bandages. The thing you have bandages. to really consider about the level of Kurt's wetness is the wetness for a bald man. He won't be retaining and holding as much water inside of him, inside on on or around his face. It's because he lacks the hair. The he's, follicles he's, aren't there to hold it. He's sleek like an amphibian. Yep. But <laughs> yeah. he, he still looks like he still looks like it at a good level of moisture. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I feel that. Does anybody want to go through the real match? Fuck no. Why no, not? Why would I want to do that? Well listen, listen. <laughs> Angle did oh, fucking kick the shit out of Henry in the face at one point in the yeah. match. He did just just bop him hard. They were you they sound were stiff. Like you already have things you want to say. Let's, let's they were it. stiff in it. I I don't have a whole thing about Kurt, it. Yeah. Kurt, we don't Kurt need a whole thing. Out. I think the Kurt, whole thing Kurt, is stupid. Kurt busted out a few perk moves. Yeah, yeah. Well, a little outside oh of his move the, the second rope fucking. Oh my for goodness! For that was nasty. Kurt, on his neck. Yeah, it was all he neck. Essentially, does a tiger driver to himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kurt tried doing like a like a jumping senton off the off the second rope. It just like bounces off of Mark Henry because I don't think Mark it's Henry so is expecting odd. him to do yeah, that. It's, and then it, he just falls on his neck. And Mark Henry also falls. It was oh, nasty. It was fucking crazy. Um, it's just one of many Kurt Angle moments. Of the uh, yeah, Angle set him up for, or not Angle, uh, Henry set up Angle for a world's strongest slam, and he throws him up and just gets DDT'd out of it. That was nasty. Yeah, he does a fucking, he does a, a what the fuck is it? Yeah, whatever. It a DDT, matter. dude, come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Kurt bounces up off the ropes, tries uh, hitting a rolling pin on Henry, but Henry's too big. Kurt can't flip him over. Henry goes for the goes for a, a seated press yep. onto Kurt's face with that big old booty. But Kurt gets out of the way. Mark's booty hurts. He jumps up off the rope and uh, well, he probably sat on his balls a little. Yeah, well, yeah, of bad course. Bad size, bad strength. Yeah, and then Kurt bounces back. up off the rope, stops, and then kicks Henry across the face, which is crazy. Yeah. And immediately we start working outside of the ring. Kurt bounces uh, Henry off uh, off the Spanish announce table. And uh, tries to German him onto the American announce table. Doesn't. And then Henry just starts throwing him back into the ring. And Henry continues, or, or rather Kurt, continues to start working like the leg. You know, yeah. getting ready for the ankle lock. We get into it, yeah. <clears throat> you know, get into the picks him over. Lock, yeah. yeah, works the thigh. Thighs him up. Thighs Mark him Henry up. tries raking the eyes, but it doesn't work. Kurt doesn't need eyes. He's got blind sight. He's a <laughs> freak. He's nasty. No, I don't think anybody can ma He's match Kurt's freak. Pure no, no. Yeah. Mark tried to match his freak, but he couldn't. It was it was tough for Mark out there. How can you keep yeah, no up with shot. a man that's yelling like that? Um, no shot. He's so wet. Yeah. Did you guys talk well, about how cool the the counter was? No, we haven't gotten to it yet because he's still working the knee. With that he's still working the knee. Like, leg so then Kurt, Kurt eventually goes for the the ankle lock on him he locks it in and then Mark Henry like stands up and does a full on flip and throws Kurt Angle out of the ring it was so tight I don't know how he did that <laughs> it's the most athletic thing I've seen from a man that size uh, I, th I think Kurt Angle went to Mark Henry backstage and said hey we're not gonna have a match like at Royal Rumble he said don't fuck this up don't fuck this up. One of us. I'm gonna break one of our necks tonight. 
And it was Kurtz. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark's like, okay, brother. Somebody's got to go through a table, though. Kurt's like, deal. So we have yet to see how that plays out. But Kurt, you know, busts the titty out, tries to jump up on Henry. And Henry, from a, like a laying down position, jumps up onto his feet and gives him a lariat, which has got to be the scariest thing ever. See Mark Henry get up onto his feet from laying down on his stomach in one second and then clothesline you. Actually terrifying. But Ooh. Kurt Angle's on a perk. He don't care about that. He's got the ankle lock in, and then we get that fucking devious counter tie where Mark Henry flops up like a catfish and then throws Kurt out of the ring with only the power of his foot. Yeah. Yeah, it was with some, some nasty work. You know, uh, Mark Henry's now gotten him in a perfect position. He lays him out on the announce table, starts slapping his ribs, starts slapping his titty. He's getting his nipple hard a little bit. He's got Kurt laid out. He jumps up on the Spanish announce table. He's gonna. He might put him through this table. Yeah, we got close here. Oh, and Kurt gets up right away. He's like, no, 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 no. I don't think so, boss. He he rolled out, ran away with the quickness. Mark Henry just pummeling the back of the ribs. Kurt Angle had actually cracked ribs, so this must have hurt like a motherfucker again. That's why he needed the perks. Yeah, I don't know what he was gets... up with that finish though. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a tough one to justify, but Kurt, he lays up against the, the ring awful. post to rest. Mark Henry just clobbers him on the post. Kurt Angle collapses. Mark Henry gets back into the ring at the count of seven. Eight, nine. Lil Nate counts ten. Oh. Kurt Angle loses by ring count. Mark Henry is the winner. What can you do? It's fucked up. Mark Henry's like, yeah, I did that shit. Yeah, and then Angle said... Mark Henry's like, whoa... Yeah, well, yeah, somebody gonna get count out. Somebody gonna get. That's too bad split. though, because Angle is doing the dance outside. He didn't notice. Mark Henry's looks over, and you see Angle hitting the nasty girl. And yeah, Henry say, "Wait nasty. a minute, yep. holy, holy moly!" And Angle gets a chair, and just beats the living shit out of Mark Henry. He couldn't stop him. The real fucking beat that started. He uh he put him in a like he was hitting him hard with that steel chair to the head, to the back, to the leg. He puts an ankle lock on him, and Henry starts tapping out. He's crying. Angle's uh neck is visibly veiny because he is so yeah. fucking perked out. Real yeah. Well, gets gets perhaps. picks up Mark Henry from the floor, like dead lifts him with one arm, picks him up, and then hits him with an angle slam through the table. It does not well, work. Onto the table. It doesn't work. Didn't go through. Yeah, he, Mark Henry flops onto the though. table and then like falls over like onto the chairs and stuff that Taz and Michael Cole sit on. So then in it like alright, so now we're we're at a point where we're like, fuck dude, this table's never gonna break. And you've given up, you're like, they gotta end the, the segment. It's done, right? Not for Kurt. It's not done for Kurt. What the fuck does Kurt do next time? Kurt decides I'm gonna smack him with a chair again. And Mark Henry, like a gunshot to the back, falls over and just collapses the table. Just falls right <laughs> through the fucking table. He's dead. And yeah, then... Kurt hits Mark Henry dead ass in the middle of the face with the chair. And then Mark Henry's like, oh, shit. And, we, and then we were falls, all there. flops onto it. It was so well, fucking crazy. The best part is we were all sitting there being like, wow, is like, wow, he's really avoiding the head. Are these chair shots? Like, Is he being ethical with these chair shots? And then he certainly was not being ethical. No, 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 no. Because, again, Kurt had been working the leg. He uh, After the match was over, Kurt hit him in the in the leg with a chair. He wanted to leave him harmed. Yeah. So you know, then thought, the camera oh, okay. got really up in Angle's face, and he's... And I was, it was crazy, dude. I couldn't believe how many times he said, yeah. Yeah, that's, that is what happened. Yeah, this is this is one of the yeahs from a Kurt Angle yeah montage. This yeah, was this like a, this was a deep so one. So if you've ever seen it, you you know it. Yeah, it felt it felt really good to watch happen, and you know, every time I think about this pay per view, I, I think I think of this now. I yeah. will think of this yeah, absolutely. The... Somebody also had a sign in the back that I like choked. I almost choked on my mango lassie oh my pointing God. out. <laughs> 
I almost spit up my chilled uh, refrigerator okay. chilled mango last night. I was like, guys, that sign is crazy. Yeah. I won't repeat the words on the sign, but it was insane. World's strongest yeah. R word. Yeah, it was. Well, Ty repeated it, but I'm not gonna it say that. I'm not gonna say yeah, it. But it's yeah, no, yeah, you didn't. Yeah. You don't have to go into it, but they he did. It was audacious. How they let him in the? How they let him in there like that? It was the. It was a different time. It was a different time. And uh, you know yeah. they they some some would say they had more fun back then. <laughs> some people might say that. Not me. Nah. Listen, man. Backstage, Booker T, Charmel. If your gums bleed oh, and yeah. you have dead animals in your room, do not listen to our podcast. We oh, hate you. Hold up, I missed out. I missed out a lot. My 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 internet went out for a second. So editor Ty. Uh, oh, no. Elongate Joe saying yeah. bleeding gums. Gums bleed. Oh. <laughs> All right. Elongate bleeding gums. <laughs> um, Booker T and Charmel are backstage, and they are yelling about how great he is, how wonderful he my is. My man, my man, Booker, and they're just getting like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. And uh, can you dig it? Yep. Can you Better dig than it? Don King. Sucker. Sucker. Charm also says he's better than Don King. Says he's better yes. than King James. Yeah. Says he's better than King Kong. Says he's better, he's than, better than Martin than Luther King. Jade. Yeah, it was crazy. This is a crazy moment. Booker's like, yeah, I am. I am better than all those people. She said he was better than King Louis the Fourteenth, and I was like, that's crazy, pull. What a what a deep one. What a deep cut. She's really going. Charmel knows ball. About it. Did not like this match. I don't know. There's something. Nope. Uh, stop making Bobby go long with these. And long is nine minutes. They didn't have any. Uh, these two just did not have any chemistry. No, no chemistry no. at all. The only highlight I have was a weird moment where Booker gets a thrust kick in the corner, and uh, he goes off the ropes. And somehow, Bobby Lashley was supposed to be bent over to take a an axe kick, and he hits it, but he was standing up. Lashley was standing up completely, and I'm like, how did that work out? How did that yeah, even Booker, work? Booker yeah. delivered the nastiest kick ever. He looked like a Tekken character doing a fucking overhead kick. Yeah. yeah. He, the anim- it's like, it was like in uh, when you're playing a WWE 2K game and the animation plays out incorrectly because one character just doesn't enter the animation. Yeah. Um, Love that. Booker goes again for another axe. Gets speared. Charmel hops up, distracts the raff, the raff, the raff guys. No, the ref. And uh, Finley comes down, tries to get in Lashley's face, and hits him with a shillelagh. I was like, "Are you kidding me? Are you are you joking me?" Thanks, and Finley. Booker gets yeah. another axe kick, and beats Bobby Lashley to be King Booker. And yeah, a devious bookend for the victory. No, it's a scissors kick. Was it? Nah. Yeah, yeah. He hit the bu- uh, bookend earlier, but Lashley kicked out. But I just want to go quick through that because that was not the best match. I'm not gonna... great. Look, we're we're in for some some prime Booker work here. Now that he has been officially crowned the 2006 King of the Ring. King Booker was a was a time. Booker. But this match this match was tough. Booker starts emoting up on the. Up on the Jesus, I can't the throne area, and he's yeah. just he's hitting the nasty, uh, uh, gritty. Yep, Charmel like, puts ah. all his prizes on him. He gets to sit on the chair. He gets to wear the hitting cowl. the L dance. He gets to hold the scepter and and be crowned the, the wait, king. What's happening? Oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness! Bobby Lashley's A here and spear. kills him through the throne, and somehow Booker keeps his crown on, and uh. Yes, yeah, always stays on. His coronation did not last long. Nope. Not yeah, at you all. Get to enjoy it. No, no, no. It was a Yeah, I'm saying this is a low light of the night. Low light. And it gets even lower. And sorry we had to jump through that, but now we have to jump through this bad boy because Taker vs. Kali is here. Oof. And uh this went uh eight minutes. Should not have Tell went eight what minutes. You are saying, man. F- followed by uh it was the first a five minute recap. Of uh, since the the SmackDown after Mania when when Kali debuted to crush the Undertaker, and then Undertaker disappeared for two months. 
uh, literally hasn't been on the show at all since the night after WrestleMania. Kali uh, has zero movement. Nope. No, not at all. Like actually, he's got he's got like negative like joint mobility. Uh, I'll just run through it real quick because I don't want to talk about it as much as anyone else does here. So, Taker tries a old school. Kali's like ha ha ha. LMAO, don't even try it. Just bounces off him. Michael Cole's like, hey yo, that's the first time that ever happened. Oh, he's no selling him so hard. Uh, Davari even interferes. Like, what the fuck? Why are you? Why are you interfering? This guy doesn't even need anybody. Uh, Kali uses his brain chop, tries to get the pin with the boot, kicks out. Taker tries again, does nothing, nothing. Davari is still, like, interfering. He's helping Kali out of the ropes because Kali got hit into the ropes and flopped over like Andre the Giant. Um, Kali goes for another chop, and Taker... Misses, gets a choke slam. That's nothing works, dude. Nothing works. Taker can't do nothing. And uh, Davari again interferes. And why is there so much interference in this match? Kali doesn't good. even need it. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, Kali, Taker's like... Kali gets wrapped up in the ropes, like crucifix style. Yeah. His butt, he's still so tall, his butt doesn't even touch the like floor. Um, and then Davari gets up on the ropes... Uh, to distract Undertaker. Undertaker's about to he picks him up and him onto just the puts apron. Him down. But but no, because Lil Nate, the referee for this match, just like broke it up, and then Undertaker like barked at him, and the Lil Nate ran away, which prompted Undertaker to keep staring at Lil Nate, uh, which gave Davari a chance to un yeah untrap Taker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, just bullshit, man. Uh, Kali gets out of all that. Hits an elbow, hits another chop, and can't even lift his fucking leg up. Hits him with a boot. And then, for whatever reason, Kali's just emoting again afterwards. He's taunting, yeah, taunt spamming. He's taking a moment to, he's taking a moment to breathe. He's just putting his arms up. He's just jaw jacking to the crowd. Everybody is uh, booing. I don't know if they're booing at him or they just want this match to end. And it takes dealing. about like a minute before Kali just walks over to him and puts a boot on him and pins him. The Undertaker's entrance was about four minutes here in this match, so Eww. take tough what you one. will. It was a, this is a tough one here for everybody. I can't believe this. This was awful. One funny thing I thought happened in the match was Undertaker had to like jump up, try and give Kali a headbutt, and just kind of looked dumb. This might have been one of the ones that made him get knee surgery. Yeah. Yeah. And now we go into the worst main event of the year so far on pay per view <laughs> as Rey Mysterio defends against JBL. JBL's US title's not on the line. And Rey's still got the stupid fucking uh, sun visor on upside down. Looks stupid as hell. Yeah, it looks dumb. Uh, bad, it's bad merch. So imagine Rey Mysterio versus any of the big guys that you've been watching for the past month, and they did the same match, but now it's 17 minutes. Actually, I think it's 20 minutes. I have to get the match times up in a sec. But yeah. all it that happened... 15 minutes and 56 seconds. That felt way longer than that. There's no way. So JBL's offense was 14 minutes and 30 seconds of that match. Because yeah. JBL kills him... Uh, anytime Ray got any offenses, JBL's just like, LMAO, dude. You, you can't hit uh-huh. me. Nice try, J- idiot. JBL repeatedly yells at Ray Mysterio's wife, who's at ringside. Yep. Or in the front row, rather. And it was hilarious because the guy with the camera just kept getting in the way of the, the shots. So, like, he just put his stupid camera in front of her face as they're trying to record her reactions. And he's just looking at the camera going, ah! He's yelling at it. <laughs> he's just, it's just such a goofy look. Uh,. Ray was busted open at some point. His eyes are behind his head. And it's just... God, what the, the fuck? The blood seeping from around uh, and through uh, his mask. It was, uh, a, it was a pretty gnarly sight, I'd say. Through his white and Gucci-printed uh, Ray Mysterio mask. Uh, it cut by after that point and uh, around when Ray was getting a comeback. But I had to talk about it now before I forget. But there was a sign that said, JBL is my pregnant sister. Don't know what the hell that even Just means. A little bit. Yeah, let's, go, let's go ahead and throw that. Throw, throw that it out one. Up up. I. Yeah. What the fuck are they? 
Wow. What does that mean? JBL, JBL is that guy's pregnant sister. Uh, before all that, though, Ray is trying really hard to do anything. Just gets kicked. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's it's bad. He's bleeding like crazy. You know, and then it all went so fast. Like 14 minutes have passed by. JBL gets a, a chair into the ring, and JBL tries for a power bomb. It gets countered. Six one nine. But oh, JBL pulled him. Oh, or pulled the ref. Oh no, that's crazy. And then JBL hits him with a power bomb as the ref's down. Doesn't get the three. Uh, he starts yelling at Charles Robinson. Ring. Hold up, hold up. He bring. Uh, he got the chair at that time. And Ray drop kicked in his face, and six one nine frog splash. So like Ray hit th- probably three or four moves and killed him at fifteen fifty six. And Chavo's here. Chavo's here to congratulate Ray, and nothing happens. They just uh, hug and wow, what a what a nothing main event. Worst yeah, main it was event. it was kind of a stinker. I, I don't. Mean, other than JBL yelling at uh, Ray's wife, bringing his bloody like uh, head over to her his, uh, to his wife, barking at her, and then gives her gives him a, a back body drop. Is that Dominic Mysterio with her too? I don't he gets kind of scared him. too. I didn't see him at all. Uh, there's a kid next to her with a with a six one nine visor. Again, just awful merch, terrible branding. Her champion. He was getting his ass kicked for ninety nine percent of his reign, yep. and just for this to happen, I really thought JBL might get the double here. It makes but... JBL look bad. It makes Ray look bad. It makes uh, looks the good, ref dude. look bad. It makes Chava look bad. It makes his wife look bad. The only guy that came out of this on top was the guy with the camera because he got a couple shots and got to be <laughs> on TV. He got caught in what tie? He got a uh, one forty four p. Nice. Definitely 144p. Yeah. This pay per view was pretty rough, man. By by the sound of our voices, we were not into it. <laughs> yeah, by this, by this time after, the carbs had set in. After uh, after the Mark Henry and Kurt Angle match, I just kept looking at Ty saying, "How many more matches are there, Ty?" And Ty kept saying three. No matter how many matches we went through, <laughs> <laughs> three matches. I felt like I was in hell. Bro, just three <laughs> matches. I'm like, what? Uh, I have a cage match review open of the main event, and it says Is a it 10 out of 10, a historic heel performance by JBL. And I'm not going to read the rest, but I just thought you would we want to the know. German one. There's no German we'll ones. There's no German ones. I can't find any. Just bear, All, bear with us here. No, no German boys wanted to talk about this. It's fucked up. All right, hold up. Guter open mit Erdenlock action. I ain't going through the oh. rest. Wow! Thank you. I'm seeing here. It looks Five like out of 10. I I don't know why Cage Match does this. Like the 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 ratings. I guess people didn't have many opinions on this prior to 2020, because people like as time goes on, people seem to like this match more and more. In 2020, yeah. they gave it a 6.67 average rating off of three reviews, and then 2021 we get 8.0, 2022 7.14. And then it just kind of fluctuates between seven point something here. I think it was an average it was just uh, 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 an average of seven point three three, which I don't agree with at all. Yeah, I don't know how this got second best best match based on the votes. No way, ain't no, no way. No. Fucking <laughs> Benoit Finley almost got like perfect match rating. All right, so quick. Final thoughts on the show. Final thoughts on the show. Talking about this paper. Yeah, this this was shit. We had two good matches, uh, and nothing else Three. was of note. Oh, what? Henry Angle. Yeah. The ending sucked, but I, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah three good I matches. Agree. Three three good to decent matches, and everything else was pretty just like throwaway. Just and ass in a way. Come yeah. on, man! This is a pay per view for Smack Up. Why are we getting disrespected? No way out was so good. What happened? Yeah. What happened Fucked is up. we have we have a, a we have ECW coming up. <laughs> in. We have ECW coming. Some, some yeah, some key players make their way out, and also ECW, and also the past two months of build for uh, the World Heavyweight Championship have been nothing, and there's no feud for the U.S. Championship because that guy's been making fun of the heavyweight champion. Yep, yeah, and so. at least we got new tag champs, and that's really all we can say. We got we got some. 
like optimism for the future of the product, but who knows, man. Hopefully, as the show goes on in 06, SmackDown can match our freak. No one will be able to match our freak, especially when we're uh, butter chickened out, mango lassied up, and you've been smacked up. It's not on the couch. Oh, baby.